so last night we had an exciting new addition arrive for the barn. That is what this video is going to be. I'm going to be introducing you to... Oh, not to you, Zoevi. So that is what this video is gonna be. I'm gonna be introducing you guys to Nachi, stop! I'm gonna be introducing you guys to the new pony out here. Hopefully she has a permanent place and will just be a lesson pony. Her name is Tilly and she is so stinking cute. Oh my gosh. I'm gonna go grab her. We're gonna put her outside in a little bit so she can get some turnout, stretch her legs. She's been on a trailer for a long time yesterday she came from texas they drove straight here so she had a long day yesterday i would like to get on her today and just see how she is this is the worst place to be doing this because she's right by the feed court and she's getting tempted this is tilly she is a little over 12 hands she's just a little bigger than luna she has a longer neck and she's bigger bodied which is great that means i'm gonna fit on her a lot better i forgot how old she is but i think i want to say she's like nine or something she's not super old but she should be old enough to have a brain i'm really just hoping that she will make a good lesson horse the funny thing is is that i said i was never gonna own a small again so I gave all of Luna's stuff away when I sold her. I had to do some shopping for Miss Tilly here to make sure she had everything she needed. I'll show you guys some things from her ad. So they like jumped her in this like giant unicorn costume is ridiculous. She just has like no reaction. My horses wouldn't even let that within 50 feet of them, let alone on their back. So we need some influence from this pony out here. for a minute work on feeding the horses and then we will put her outside she's getting her first turn out here she's about to go meet gmo gmo is the nicest boy out here so that's who is going to be her first friend um we have all the big boys already I'm very excited they're silly we're gonna avoid them okay till they're silly boys
My first ride on Tilly was not great. I got on a pony that seemed very, very far off from what she was in her sale videos. It was a little frustrating, I'm not gonna lie, but she was in a new environment and the weather was probably a lot cooler than it was where she came from and she had been sitting for the past three weeks. So I was still hanging on to some hope that it would get better. All of the clips that you've seen and will see in this video are the better parts of these rides. Eventually you guys will get the full story of what's been going on with the pony when she gets a little transformation video, but we're not there yet. You want me to say something? So like I said, my first ride on this pony was rough. So the following day, I decided to lunge her before I got on to see if that would make any difference. The second ride was definitely a lot better. I could just walk her around on a loose-ish rein without her trying to run away, so that was a lot of progress. I feel like I should go ahead and explain why I have a crop with her now after I just said she was trying to run away. But our first ride, she was also just randomly hitting the brakes, so I needed something to make sure she understood that she needed to listen to my legs. to have each other's playlists. No, no. Used to be each other's best friends. Yeah, and now we go our separate pathways, but your heart's still in mind. Yeah, and maybe we could try it next week again, but I don't want to think what's toxic, but who cares?
You still have to keep it a secret from Belle and Chloe for a while. Okay, so I meant to give you guys this update much earlier, but I'm just now getting around to it. So Erilyn just got to meet the new pony. I ended up letting her sit on the pony. Originally, we were just gonna stand still and take pictures, and I was like, you know what, you can just try and walk her around like in a little circle. And she did that, the pony was good. Erilyn has known about the pony for a while because my mom accidentally told her not knowing that I was keeping it a secret from all of the kids so that I could surprise them when she got here. So, Erilyn found out that way and she has managed to keep it a secret from Bella and Chloe, which is good. I'm really proud of her. And unfortunately, she still has to keep it a secret from them for a little while longer because Bella and Chloe won't see the pony until a few days from now. Get the doggy or the cat. Get the kitty. Oh, you made that choppy mad. Nachi, choppy's not dealing with it from you anymore. Wait, that's just like literally all Nacho ever wants. He just wants any sort of reaction, even if it's a bad one. and Chloe are on their way out to the barn right now. I have devised this master plan of how to surprise them with this pony. So I have put Tilly in Frankie's stall and I like left Frankie's halter on the stall too. I hid Tilly's halter so they're not gonna have any idea when they're walking to the stall. It's gonna look completely normal. So anyway, she's in Frankie's stall. I'm gonna tell Chloe she can ride Frankie today and ask Bella if she can help Chloe get Frankie's halter on because that's usually how it has to go because Chloe's just not tall enough to reach Frankie. So I don't think it will be too suspicious for them. I'm gonna go in and try and hide some cameras so we can get their reactions and not have them be too suspicious. If I'm just like walking around like filming them, they're gonna know something's up. I said since Bella wasn't going to be riding, maybe she, you could make Chloe ride Frankie instead. Bella, do you think you could help her get the halter on him? Since he's your dad. And since he's so tall. <laughs> the highest I can touch is like below the middle. 
My dad. No. <laughs> Different heights. Yeah, well, that's. Glad well, you caught on to that. <laughs> I still need help getting the halter on. Yeah, I think you need help getting the halter on. No, no, no. He's white. Yeah, definitely. Girl. Do you guys want to get her out and take some pictures with her before yeah. you ride? She's so cute. Wait, I'm riding. I you're think, actually no. You're not riding her. Beat. You're actually gonna ride Cricky. I think Luna's um beat. She's so cute. She's so cute. So cute Luna. Cooper, can you explain to us what the stripe on Tilly is? It's a zipper. Wait, what? To and what? change its coat. And and why is it there also? To pull what out? <laughs> to pull what out? According to Stephanie. No, I didn't <laughs> say that. <laughs> it's a zipper because it's a stuffed animal. So you can take the stuffing out of her? Mm -hmm. Can I feed Gmo this? Mm-hmm. Who's Gmo? Ronnie. Want that carrot? Who's Ronnie? Or should we save it's this? It's Gmo. Ronnie's right there. Feed it to Gmo. He loves carrots. Yeah, Ronnie. I don't think Tilly likes them. Go, go get Freezer. it. Chloe got to be the first kid to really ride this pony and I'm really pleased with how Tilly was for Chloe. It definitely started making me feel a little more optimistic about her. The following day, Tilly got a good lunge and then Chloe got on her without me being on the pony first. Stay high for a minute Tongue tied, I don't wanna go home You and I under linen Bone die, but I'm really not bored So used to chasing falling stars Love's not supposed to be paper thin So if I stay here, don't rip me apart I'm already scared to begin with
Since Tilly was pretty good for Chloe, Erilyn got to get on her after. Baby, you're the MVP. Look so fine in a white one piece. Dreaming you when I fall asleep. Dreaming you when I RIP. So used to chasing falling stars. Love's not supposed to be paper thin. So if I stay. Keep your tongue in your mouth We both know where we're at Is it not different now? We all got the time for that I'd be lying if I said I didn't miss it, you know We look so much closer from a distance It's so easy to skim over and harder to find I don't want the closure, I've opened my mind Ain't that cause an already should've kissed you, I know Lately I've been blinded by the issues I don't wanna talk about it to Chris anymore If you come around, just push open the door Keep your tongue in your mouth We both know where we're at Is it not different now? On the table, but there's something missing. Everyone around me wants to figure out if you love me then and if you love me now. Oh. Keep your tongue in your mouth. We both know where we're at. Is it not different now? <laughs> 